Hi everyone, my name is Paul Vicheski and welcome to the Real Estate Classroom YouTube channel. In today's real estate math video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate down payments. It is something that you have to know for your real estate licensing exam. So let's get to today's video. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna discuss how to calculate a down payment. Pretty important to know, not only for the real estate profession, but also there's gonna be some form or fashion of a test question that's gonna require you to calculate a buyer's down payment. But before we get to that, do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, click on the notification bell, comments and questions down below, I'd appreciate it. In fact, many of you have been commenting and asking your questions and that really helps grow this channel. So please do that, I'd appreciate it. All right, so let's get to ca uh, calculating the down payment. So first of all, just starting with the basics, what is a down payment? A down payment is that initial upfront payment that a purchaser gives typically on expensive items and then they finance the rest with the lender. So for example, you may have a, a home buyer that's gonna purchase a home and they're gonna put a certain percentage of, of uh, that money down, certain down payment, depending on the requirement of the individual loan that they're getting. Because remember, if you watched any of the loan videos or the mortgage videos, uh, you learn that different types of loans require a certain percentage or different percentages of down payment. So for example, conventional, they may require a five, 10 or 20% down, those type of things. But it's just that initial upfront uh, cash payment um, that they're gonna pay at closing. So let's look at a couple of different practice test questions that you may see. And, and what I'm trying to do here is give, in, give you the, because um, most of you I think know how to calculate a down payment, but I wanna kind of give you the format at which it may be asked, because that may be important too. So let's look at practice question number one. Tom purchased a parcel of, a parcel of land located at 123 Main Street. His offer of $200,000 was accepted by the seller. Because it's raw land, the lender is requiring a 30% down payment. How much will Tom's down payment be? So let's take a look at how we calculate that. So we know uh, that, uh, or the formula here is the purchase price, which is 200,000 times 30%, that will give us our down payment. So we got all the numbers that we needed within that test question. So let's let's uh, do the multiplication. So we're gonna take $200,000, which is the, the offer that's the amount that's been accepted or the purchase price that's been accepted by the seller. And we're gonna multiply that by the required 30% down. Now there's two ways to do it. We can take 200,000 and multiply it by decimal three zero. That gives us a down payment of $60,000, or you can take 200,000, multiply it by three zero or 30, hit the percent key on your calculator, and it'll give you the same number, which is $60,000. So the answer to practice question number one, how much of a down payment will Tom have to pay on his $200,000 purchase? And the answer is $60,000. Now I'm gonna throw in another question here because the test question may be phrased a little bit different. So let's take a look at that. Tom purchased a parcel, a parcel of land located at 123 Bain Street. Because it's raw land, the, the, the lender is requiring 30% a 30 down payment, which equals $60,000. So what is, or what was the purchase price? So in practice question number one, the test question wanted us to configure, figure out what the down payment is. Here, it wants to know what the purchase price is. And to figure that out, we do, uh, we take $60,000, which the test question gave us that figure, that is the amount of the down payment, and we divide it by 30% or decimal three zero. And when we do the with calculations, we take $60,000, which is the down payment. We divide it by uh, 30%. Again, you can divide it by decimal three zero, or you can, uh, you can divide it by 30 and hit the percent key. Either way, you get a purchase price of $200,000. And I highly recommend that while you're doing this, actually, uh, I know I know we're going through the process here, but use your calculator so you get accustomed to using that calculator. 
Studies show that when you're actually actively participating in the functions, then uh, you, you retain the content uh, a lot longer and better. So, okay, so those are the two types of test questions regarding calculating a down payment that you're probably gonna see on your real estate licensing exam. If you're gonna continue to study, check out this real estate math video to my right. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. Click the little circle to my left. And remember, comments and questions down below. I'll see you in our next video.